Ensign Chekhov, please coordinate with Mess Officer Briel and ensure that the dietary requirements for the occupant of cell B3 are augmented to include more seaweed and kelp. Yes, sir. Right away. Reprehensible. Unjust in the extreme. Heavy. What seems to be the matter? I am angry, Cyrano, because my spaceship has been stolen from me, don't you know? Stolen? That's terrible. Who made off with it, if I may inquire? The nefarious proprietor of the spaceship storage facility on Illyria 6. That's who. He has impounded my ship for storage fee non-payment. A measly six months in arrears. A paltry 17,000 Federation credits is all I owe. And for that, he has stolen me trusty little tub. Well, I don't know about stolen. I mean, it seems he was in his Illegally property. holding onto me ship and its contents is the same as stealing it outright. CJ, it's outright piracy. I should lodge a complaint with the authorities immediately. Well, yes, I guess so. Perhaps. Mr. Mudd, Mr. Jones, I happen to overhear your remarks. Yes, Mr. Spock. The argument you are employing, Mr. Mudd, is not logical. In fact, it exhibits the fallacy of the false equivalence, an example of a fallacy of inconsistency. I thought he was persuasive. That may seem so, Mr. Jones, but his argument is invalid. It employs the fallacy of false equivalence. This fallacy is committed when one shared trait between two subjects is assumed to show equivalence, especially in order of magnitude, when equivalence is not necessarily the logical result. False equivalence is a common result when an anecdotal similarity is pointed out as equal, but the claim of equivalence does not bear scrutiny because the similarity is based on oversimplification or ignorance of additional factors. Mr. Mudd, you employ this fallacy when you liken the spacecraft bay managers impounding your ship to outright theft of your craft. The former is clearly not the same as the latter, which is the crux of this fallacy. Yes, of course. Thank you, friend Spock. Indeed. I shall definitely endeavor to reword my statements in the future, my good sir. That would be best. Even if an argument seems to make sense, it cannot be valid unless the form is valid, and that it does not exhibit one of the logical fallacies such as the false equivalence. It's only logical. <laughs>